Hello, everybody, Caden here, and, uh, well, <laughs> we're on the dino's world. Oh, gosh, I've hit my desk, so sorry about that. Um, <laughs> we're on the dino's world, guys, and it's been a very long time. It's been a little over two months since, uh, since the last one of these. And a lot of people have been asking, where did it go? What happened to dinos? When's the next episode? Um, and I have some good and bad news. Obviously, the good news that I'm gonna cover real quick, um, this is a world download episode, even though it's 142 and not 150. Um, <laughs> this is a world download world tour, but we're going to need a few minutes to just kind of go over some stuff real quick. So sorry, you guys can skip ahead. Um, maybe I'll leave that in like the bookmark or whatever, if I can remember to do that. Uh, so you guys can just skip ahead to the tour if that's all you want to see. But basically, uh, I wanted to outline at the very beginning of this real quick, just some, just so you guys kind of understand what's happening with the series where we're going and all that kind of stuff. So, Dinos is temporarily, at least for now, going to be going on hiatus. Um, so, basically, there aren't gonna be any more episodes for an indetermined amount of time. It may mean, which means I might come back and work on this at some point, we might get another episode somewhere down the line, but it also means we might be done with this world. We might kind of be finished with it and might be moving on permanently to other projects. Now, that doesn't mean fossils and archaeology and dinos content is going to disappear. Um, it is going to continue if you have seen the other video that hopefully went up today uh, <laughs> about the Reborn series. Uh, I plan to do another series just like that, but instead of using their Jurassic World Reborn mod, I'll be using Fossils and Archaeology, which is my favorite dinosaur mod. Um, and we'll be playing with that and just going back through and building a big old creative mode park, uh, just to kind of, in a way, do two things. A, it gets the a complete Fossils and Archaeology park out there, which is something I really want to do still. I just want to move on from this world for right now and second that keeps dinos alive on the channel until i find figure out what i'm actually gonna do series wise with the mods because i still would love to do it and i'd still love to make fossils and archaeology content i just well don't know um how that's gonna work exactly so it's kind of trying to figure out what we're doing um now I know a lot of people are going to be very disappointed. Now, again, I'm trying to compensate you guys somewhat with that news by obviously releasing a world download. On f and uh, I guess I should probably go into why I'm kind of ending the series for now. Because uh, I'm sure people will want to know that for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but you guys will probably... The main reason I'm kind of thinking like of ending this for now at least is... Uh, well, A, you guys will remember there was a bit of a mod bungle issue where basically a lot of the modded blocks disappeared and that led to some big issues especially in the ice age area where just and uh, the bug house and the greenhouse are just massive amounts of stuff is gone so that was kind of annoying to deal with um and i haven't actually finished dealing with that the second issue is um the series is kind of dying anyway um it, it gets like half the views it used to so it's kind of like the, the time investment required to get an episode out versus, you know, what happens when I finish one and it gets uploaded is kind of becoming a bit less worth it from like a business standpoint, I guess, from like keeping the channel going. Um, and then from a third perspective, this world has an age issue. And that is, I've been working on this for, I can't believe it's been that long, but it's been about two years of work, a little over probably, of uh, me building this world. And it shows tremendously. I mean, especially with this house, because I built this house two years ago. And it looks like I built it two years ago because I have gotten so much better at building since I started this park. Which is both a good and a bad thing. On the bright side, it means the numerous stuff I've built here looks amazing. I, I think some of the newer builds I've done are absolutely fantastic. They're some of the better builds in the zoo. They look great. The problem is most of the builds, I'd say over half, if not maybe closer to like 60 to 70% of the builds are old. They're legacy builds. They don't look particularly great. They have a lot of issues. 
they don't fit with the new stuff. And that kind of bugs me because it means I'd have to go back um, and fix all of them. Unfortunately, that means some exhibits, which have already been like rebuilt like two or three times already, still need to be updated. And that takes hours of work and several episodes. And I feel like that will, I mean, like I said, I feel like the series is already kind of dying like viewership wise. I flat out believe that would kill the series because it means we're not getting new stuff and we're just kind of focusing on rebuilding old things. That combined with the fact that obviously Fossils hasn't updated, like gotten a proper update in well over a year. And the next update is kind of indeterminate when that will be, as always. So it's like, I kind of feel like this series has kind of naturally reached an end point. Um, so yeah, that being said, um, a survival series of some sort will probably continue after this, um, whether Dinos does or not. And I do eventually plan, despite what I said early on in this series, way back when, there will probably be another Dino Survival Series at some point. However, I may end up deciding to wait if I make a new one down the line. So a brand new world, restart everything. I'm probably going to wait till one point, the 1 1.16 port for Fossils comes out. So that way we can use it with all the new mods, probably uh, a lot of the fun new stuff we've been messing around with, with the Alex's Mob Zoo, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, that's, um, that's what's happened. That's where the series currently is. That's why we're doing a world download today. All that stuff is now covered. So sorry that took so long. But let's kind of just, you know what? We're going to, so because of that, we're going to take what could be one last great look around the park enjoy it, and uh, let you guys have fun with this. Build what you guys want to build on this, finish what projects you want to finish on this, and uh, yeah. So uh, I guess we should get started. So of course we have our Ceratosaurs up here. <laughs> In an exhibit, I don't think I ever really got right. I, like even the original one, I don't think I got right. I never quite figured out what went wrong with this build. Something did, I just never really figured out what it was. It might have just been the fact that I built it on top of a mountain. And I don't typically like mountain exhibits like this, but who knows? Uh, <laughs> which is why we're also not going to spend too much time on it. I don't think it's a particularly interesting exhibit, so I'm like, eh. We could spend like 10 minutes looking at it, or we could just run on to the next build. Which is um, this lookout post. <laughs> Excuse me. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. I tried to like shove a pillow in my face, so that would be like silence, like suppressed sneezing. Um, Hopefully I'll just remember to lower the audio on that. Um, anyway, uh, we have the old Adaphosaur enclosure, which I guess what I was gonna transition into a uh, holding pen of some sort for any animals we were like rebuilding the enclosures for, um, which I'll be honest, I don't think was really that great of an idea or an idea I ever really would've used just due to the fact that uh, typically I just leave the animals in the enclosure when I rebuild it, I just tell them to sit. Um, over here, of course, we have what remains of both the laboratory and the storage room. Uh, I was planning on trying to get both of these completely taken down, but I'll be honest, uh, in the last two weeks when I've tried to do that, I have had absolutely no motivation to finish it, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. But of course, over here, we have the stuff we've been work we worked on for quite a while. Uh, the brand new storage room, which I think looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I think it looks really nice. And of course, it's got all the storage you'll ever need. And of course, over here, we have the beginnings of what was the new laboratory. Um, a building which, I mean, if you guys, when you get your hands on this world, feel like finishing, it shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, all you need to do is throw in some machinery and, uh, well, add a roof on and finish like two walls, but too difficult overall, I think. I think it'd be a pretty easy thing for someone to finish if you felt like it. Um, of course, we have our little library over here. I'm not even sure if I really showed this off on camera. But yeah, I liked... Uh, there was an interesting idea here, I just never really got around to finishing it. Um, oh, that reminds me, as we quickly kind of run back over to the main park. There is something in the works, so some people... Well, like I said, fossils isn't completely going away, and there is actually something that might incorporate part of the fossils and archaeology mod uh, coming out. I want to say soon. It probably won't be soon, but a bit of a uh, a special thing I'm, I'm kind of working on right now. 
But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, it's actually, believe it or not, an idea that was going to be built on this world. And maybe still will, but we'll see. We'll, we shall have to see. I'm actually going to steal the bed from in here. Because, uh, well, it's nighttime, which means this video is already way too long. Um, very sorry about that. So we'll kind of speed run the tour, probably. Uh, but anyway, let's continue on down here where we've got our lovely dryosaurs and the remains of the old Therizinosaurus exhibit. Uh, where are the dryos? There they are, hit, hitting, sitting on top of the hill. There, sleeping. So I guess we can sleep now, that's good. But, uh, I mean, this is again one of those areas where it's like, I can definitely tell this is an old build just from how I've done it and kind of the lackluster appearance of it. But uh, yeah, anyway, continuing along, uh, we're, I think we'll head this way, cover the Ice Age area stuff first, and then we'll head back around to the dinos. But uh, we have the greenhouse and the bug house, both of which I mentioned got really hit hard. Oh, and the Sarko's down here. I forgot about them. Looking pretty cool. But uh, these got really hit hard by me not having them, uh, or me having the mod errors. Uh, so unfortunately, neither of them have anything in them. Uh, all the bugs disappeared, unfortunately, because I think I was standing in here when I loaded the wrong mods, and uh, yeah, that happened. So all of the trees, all of the plants are gone, all of the animals here are gone, which is unfortunate, but yeah, I mean, it's really unfortunate, because if I remember correctly, I don't think I had much DNA for any of these guys, so... Well, aside from the Mega Nera, I had plenty of DNA for them, I can tell you that. Um, over here, of course, we have our... You know, actually, before we go down there, I forgot. This doesn't have a connection back, so we should probably head up here real quick. Um, of course, we have our Platybelodon exhibit down here. One of the better exhibits I think I made. I'm not a big fan of the fencing for this one, but I love the feel of it. Although, that being said, I definitely should have put less trees in. And I have some pretty cool ideas for the... Uh, Jurassic World Reborn style series for this mod. I, I think I think it's gonna be pretty fantastic, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Um, up here, of course, we have our Megaloceros exhibit, looking pretty cool. Um, absolutely no decoration in here whatsoever, but I kinda remember why I didn't, because I think these builds, these ones in particular got very annoying to work on, I remember. Uh, <laughs> They had a lot of issues. Well, mostly just because I bit off a bit more than I could really handle, I think, um, with my ambitions for these exhibits. But of course, the massive project that was the Mammoth Enclosure, which has some missing blocks, I guess. But uh, yeah, this was quite the build, was it not? <laughs> for animals that whose hurting AI meant that they, well, I guess it's been somewhat fixed now, but I remember way back when we built this, like. They just sat in one corner and it was really annoying because I was like, I put so much work into this that so they didn't even like explore most of the exhibit. But they look pretty cool now. Exhibit still looks pretty decent. And uh, yeah, we never we never quite finished this area because yeah, there was meant to be a hotel and all this kind of stuff, which reminds me, well, I guess that was all kind of canceled, right? Because I, uh, I ended up deciding I just wanted to do the world download instead. So I stopped working on it, or we ran out of time before the world download, which kind of makes me think in the future for survival series, uh, I might, I might kind of wait to figure out how I'm gonna do more of the world download, world tour stuff, and probably modify that a bit, just cause, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this world kind of suffered some issues because of that, how I was doing it. Oh my goodness, is that actually? Is the Platybilodon actually in the shelter? <gasps> it is. I don't think I ever see them go in here. That's kind of cool. <laughs> that actually makes me kind of happy. Amazing. Um, anyway, uh, over here we have our uh, Gastornis, which you can kind of see over there. They always hid in the back of the ex Oh, there's one. There we go. Um, then our Quaggas pretty good um what else is over oh and i know what's over here i guess I, i'm just trying to remember exactly what it is oh my goodness i forgot about this and i feel kind of bad about this this was for a build competition after the ice age world download to uh build a 
Dodo Cafe or something. And I never ended up picking a winner and never ended up building it. I feel bad about that. So sorry, everyone, about that. I, I don't know why I never finished that. Of course, we have our Dodo Island over here. I always like this build. It's kind of weird, but it doesn't necessarily fit with the rest of the enclosures, but it's a cool one. Um, we have this, which completely disappeared um, for the most part because I used too many modded blocks and then they all vanished, so this build did too. Um, we have our terror birds over here. Uh, I don't remember which one this is. Titanus? Uh, I'll say that's Titanus. Um, and it must be Titanus because I know this is the Kalunkin right over here. And then over here is the Forest Rockus. I think that's what this is. They used to look a lot more distinctive back when they were first added. So I kind of have trouble remembering which one is which nowadays. But yeah, I guess that's that. Uh, I mean, we could go upstairs, but most of the stuff's gone. So it's not really worth the time of going up and uh, looking at it. Which is unfortunate, but eh, just what happens. Um, over here, of course, we have our Smilodons. Um, an exhibit which never really worked, I'll be honest. Uh, either because A, they always were escaping, which was a huge problem, or B, you just couldn't see it. It, it had some cool ideas, I think, but I don't know, I never really got it to a good point. I don't know. Over here, though, this is certainly one of the Ice Age builds I am most happy with, uh, and that is our little archaeology site from a which we built out of a poorly generated Aztec temple uh, that, I don't know, I was always like, oh, we should do something with this, and then we finally did. And I think, I think out of every dino series I've ever done, I think this is probably one of the best builds I did. And the reason for saying that is because it's unique. Um, I don't think I'd ever done a little, like, archaeology site before, so this is the first time we've done one, and I think for that being the case, it turned out really well. Like, we, we integrated the pyramid pretty well into the terrain, you know, it properly looks like it's being excavated. Um, unfortunately, all, most of the uh, artifacts that were brought up from it, or that we've put over here, are uh, unfortunately gone. However, the archaeologists are still here, so that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, this exists. Um, we have so... Do I have, like, a teleport somewhere closer? Nope, we do not. I was gonna say, do, do I have one over by, like, the Megalania? But I don't. This is going to be a long video, so um, I apologize in advance for that. But, yeah, it, we need a proper send-off for the series, so I think why not. Um, but yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I will say, I am kind of looking forward to... Well, not kind of. I am very much looking forward to the, the creative series with this these mods. I, I think there's going to be a lot of cool stuff we're going to do. I've got some cool plans for the exhibits already, so yeah. Anyway, over here we have our Elasmatherium. Looking pretty cool. There's one in the rocks right there, as always. These guys were um, interesting, to say the least. Uh, they never quite figured out their exhibit well that, that well, I think. Um, over here, of course, we have our Megalania enclosure, another one of my over-ambitious projects that took way longer than it needed to. However, unlike the Mammoths, I think this one turned out way better. I think it's just a bit more consistent and looks nicer. It doesn't fit into the environment as well, but I don't know. I think I think I really nailed this exhibit. Of course, there's our Mega Lizards over there. And finally, for the Ice Age area, we've got our little... Uh, eating area down here which still looks pretty good I think but definitely could have been improved definitely could be built better nowadays anyway we're gonna teleport now because that's a lot faster um parrot block kiss Gallimimus. uh you know we'll teleport to the Gallimimus exhibit just so that way I'm in a bit more of a central area of the park so we'll head back over here real quick and actually should I run down that way now, you know what, we'll start over here. So of course, over here we have the Dilophosaurus exhibit, which we expanded. It used to just be this side of the uh, build, but now it also includes this little extension over here, which is kind of cool looking. Never really, eh, it has a lot of issues still, but I think the exhibit definitely looks a lot better than it used to. Um, running down this way, of course, we have a, one of the only guest facilities I actually built, being the, uh, the bathrooms. Well, I guess built and finished. 
Um, maybe we should head this way and then we can loop back around through the trikes and head back to see the Stegos and stuff. But um, over here, of course, we have a couple of big projects we worked on. I say recently, it was it's still a while ago, I guess, but we have our trikes over here or part of the trike exhibit. We got Gallimimus down here in their pool, which they, I think they, they basically just stay there all the time now, don't they? A shelter, which is horribly misshapen because I didn't build it right. Um, we got this, our modern architecture building that I never finished because I didn't know what to do with it. Which I think was kind of endemic of a lot of the problems that started to pop up as this series has gone on, is I started building things because I needed to build something and less because I had a plan for it or knew what I wanted to do with it. Which I think kind of killed this for me in a way, or partially. But uh, over here we have our ankylosaurs which are magicians, if you were not aware, because they can somehow phase through the world. Um, we got our ankylosaurs down there. We have more Gallimimus enclosure over here. We have, what is this, the Pachycephalosaurs? I think this is the Pachycephalosaurs, yep. Sitting up there in their little cliff top perch, looking pretty cool. Got the Therizinosaurus exhibit, which we spent a large amount of time working on. And I think it turned out okay. But, I don't know, for being a pretty new exhibit, I think it suffers from a lot of the issues... The issues I brought up where, you know, things were... Trying to fit new build ideas into old builds, and... I, I don't know, I feel like some of the styles we picked for this world weren't the greatest to keep going with. So I feel like that kind of indirectly affected things. Um, anyway. Moving along, of course, we have the Raptor House. <laughs> which still has some uh, missing blocks here and there. I didn't... I never quite fully repaired it, but it's okay for right now, I think. And I, I did end up rehatching most of the animals, so that's good. We got our set of potties here. We've got the Ornitholestes over here. Although, since most of the animals in this part of the zoo are nocturnal, you don't really get to see them all that well. There's one there. And the other might be in the shelter. Not sure, really. Um, Of course, we've got our Velociraptors down here in the much more easy to view exhibit. Always love these guys. We got our Microraptors, which obviously we don't have because they're not in the mod yet. Our Deinonychus and their big enclosure. And of course the Archoraptor? Is that what it is? Austroraptor, Austroraptor, not Archoraptor. Austroraptor uh, enclosure. Again, another animal that was not in the mod when I built this. or And still is not in the mod, so yeah. But anyway. Pretty cool build. Um, we've seen this so many times, I don't really want to spend an overly long amount of time here. And uh, let's teleport back to the Paris slash Diplodocus exhibit. Okay, that's uh, that didn't work. Um, we'll go back to the Gallimimus because I think that's going to work a bit better. Okay, there we go. And now we can run along over here and kind of see more stuff. There's one of our trikes. One of them is still gone and I don't know where it went. It's like super disappeared. Um, over here we have our Parasaurs, just kind of chilling, and I think, I think this is the most modern build I did out of them in terms of, like, style. Like, this has been far more influenced by how we've done a lot of our zoo videos, and I think, I think for the Reborn style series I'm going to do with it, I am going to go with far more of a proper zoo look for it, and less of a, uh, Jurassic Park look, because I think the, the real zoo look just looks a lot nicer. And I don't know, I personally enjoy building in that style a bit more, so that's kind of what I want to lean towards. Um, over here, well, I should probably walk on the paths, not the hedges. Um, we have our Diplodocus enclosure, uh, a fairly massive build. I think actually one of the biggest builds I ever did um, on this world, but or like in terms of sheer size. Never quite finished, again, suffered from a problem a lot of these builds did, where I got over-ambitious, and therefore the build kind of suffered because of it, just because I didn't end up putting in enough detail or really working out the enclosure quite right. But still really cool animals. It's lovely to see that they actually work now, because uh, they didn't work for the longest time, but they, ah, uh, seeing them move around is, it's pretty cool. They're very majestic creatures. I absolutely love them. We'll come back to the Brachiosaurus in a second, but of course, we have another one of our little isolated exhibits in another one of our over-the-top projects, which was building the custom river and waterfalls. I, I still really like the waterfalls. I think they turned out really cool, but 
definitely a bit of the over another over the top project, which I guess kind of sums this up. I, I I got too ambitious too early on, and I think that didn't help things. Oh, the allosaurs are actually bigger. That's kind of cool. They were. I don't really think I AFK'd over here too much, but oh, maybe they were loaded in while I was working on the lab or something. But yeah, got allosaurs in here and another exhibit that definitely needed a lot more work that I just never really put into it, unfortunately, but it's all right, I guess. I don't really know. I kind of wanted to throw those over there, but I don't think I, I don't think I properly integrated them into the enclosure. I think there's a lot more I could have done to really get them into the, like, fully get them into the park and not really just leave them in a weird little area there with a very limited viewing zone. Um, over here we have our Brachiosaurs, um, which is one of the cooler features of the park is we got these big old towers you can go into and uh, be at like head height of the brachiosaurs. I forgot you can't zoom in on their faces because their hitbox disappears then and then they disappear. But I think we are missing one. I think we had four, but I don't really remember. Um, but yeah, they're doing cool. They're doing cool. They're looking cool. They're doing okay. That's a triceratops. I'm going to assume that's one of the ones that's missing from the exhibit. Um, I'll put that back in its enclosure after this, but uh, yeah, over here we got our restaurant, which definitely looks a lot nicer than a lot of the older buildings we have. Like this, this one's like properly furnished. It's got better decorations and all that. Looks pretty good. Um, we got our daffosaurs over here. Um, we have this building, which unfortunately lost all of its cool decorations. It was like a gift shop, but uh, it's kind of empty now, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, over here we have the Adaphosaurs and their current enclosure, even though I moved them, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, and then we got the Compsognathus, still one of the best exhibits I made in this world, um, hands down. It just has a really cool look and feel to it. Which is funny because if I quickly just... I think there's still some remnants back here. Um, yep, there is. I knew it. Uh, this was originally made out of sandstone and meant to be for our Velociraptors. And then, like, last minute I changed it to be a Compsognathus exhibit, which is kind of weird. Um, over here, of course, is our final exhibit to take a look at. And that is the Stegosaurs. Good old Tumbleweed and Helios, I think? Who, uh, we've had for quite a while now. I think they were the first dinosaurs we got in, right? But yeah. But, uh, <laughs> feels weird to say this, but I think that's, I think that's it. I think that's all I really have to show. Um, that's the whole world we spent two years on, which simultaneously is quite a lot and not that much at all. I kind of wish we had more, but at the same time, I don't really feel like building more right now and haven't for a little bit, but yeah, that's that. So, um, once again, the, uh, the world download there will be a link to that in the description down below so if you guys want to go check the world out for yourself have fun build on it do whatever you want like uh feel free to have fun with it i hope you guys get a lot of enjoyment out of it hope you guys um enjoyed this last current or maybe not last but enjoyed this look at the world and uh all the good memories we've had all the good builds we've done and all the uh all the stuff we managed to accomplish so uh yeah feels weird ending this video i guess i don't know but uh yeah thank you all for watching hope you guys have all enjoyed this series so far um we'll see if it comes back or not and i uh, hope you guys are looking forward to the the new fossils and archaeology stuff i'll be doing soon and uh until next time see ya